Chef YouTube channel today. We're at the Nioka Spa Safari Resort. And what we have here is we can do is amazing uratan, which is a Balinese sausage. So what we have here is basically the bumbugade spice. And you know we've covered a lot of this before on all my recipes on the Balinese cuisine. So I've made my own sausages as well. You may not think that I can, but it's actually very, very easy. So what you have is this intestine here. Looks like something else you might use, but it's okay for breakfast. Basically, you turn it inside out, and then you give it a bit of a scrape, and basically it still has a lining in here. So anyhow, basically clean that up. Then you have your little filler, and you'll put this on top of here. It's a bit tricky. There you go. Hold that on tight. And also, I'm just pulling off the excess skin here as well. Otherwise, your casing becomes quite thick. Now, with the meat, it's important to do two types of things. First of all, I like to mince a little bit of pork belly up so it's quite fine. And then I also dice the pork belly and I also dice pork fat as well. It's important that you get the cubes in there because that's kind of like what you have when you have your Cumberland sausage. It's nice, it's fatty, it's in there. It's got texture in there. Otherwise, it's just mince. And then basically you put it all in here. This, your chopped meat, add in a bit of your spice and basically stir that all around and you'll get this that I have here. You can really smell those Balinese flavors come through. Now, I'm gonna take my sausage casing, keep a good grip around the skin, and then basically start to fill it. And you keep on pushing that through. Sometimes it's easier just to get down in and gritty and stick your finger in there. And now you can see the sausage starting to come out at the bottom there. Keep on stuffing it. Okay, the trick is as well, is to tie the bottom off because if you stuff it afterwards, it becomes difficult to tie. Sometimes what's also good is using a little bit of string, but as we are au natural, I think we'll keep it rustic. Okay, so I think that's about enough. Me girth is good, me length is right. There we go, just bring that down. I think you might have to have a, a rating on this one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tie my a knot into here as well. So now I've completed my sausages, and you can see that they're nice, the perfect sort of shape, they're nice and clean. So hopefully Ben will enjoy these, because I don't think he's cooked the sausages down here, because it's a spa and healthy retreat. Hey Ben. Well, you? good to see you. Good to see you, mate. So, we've got our little fire going here over some uh, kayu, which is a local wood, gives mm -hmm. it a nice smoky flavour. Uh, that's the whole concept here is just to, uh, to, you know, what we do here is just to really make you feel that you're in nature. Wow. So, we've got Nelson here charring us some bread. We're going to get some bacon. What bread do you have there? Uh, we've got paleo bread, white bread, and rye bread, uh, all made that's in house. Good. So, we're going to get that going. We'll serve that with some avocado. We'll get some bacon, some eggs on. Okay. And we have a few little healthy things just to balance out the breakfast right. as well. Right. Well, my mum said whenever you come to a barbecue, never come empty handed. Right. So, being a half Aussie that I am, I like to promote. Oh. I brought some sausages that I made. Beautiful. That's made my day. So, let's skip the healthiness and whack on the sausages. Go for it. So, these are homemade. They look delicious. There we go. Throw on a snag on the barbie. Right. This is Nihawatu's iconic breakfast. Absolutely, it's, uh, it's quite popular. It's basically just to get people in touch with nature. You've got the surroundings of Sumba. Mm. We try to keep it uh, raw, healthy, but still at the same time, we've got bacon, we've got eggs. And we've brought some sausages today. as well. Excellent, so I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. Beautiful. Great. All the eggs are free range from the uh, from the site on the resort. We've got a bit of fruit. We've got our paleo bread, some raw cacao of bliss balls. Right. What should we start with? Uh, Give me some of that bread. Normally, how many people do you have here when you're catering to them? We can cater for anything up to about six to eight people here, and then set okay. up a separate table downstairs. Ah. Snags. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. There we go. I can do a few of this. 